Drop it! Hi everybody, welcome back for another video. I've got another pepper ball video for you today. I'm wearing red in honor of pepper balls. I, uh, you know, they're hot and spicy and uh, I think that's um, appropriate for today. Pepper balls, uh, I've talked about them a lot. Uh, I've got several videos that give you a lot of background. Uh, this is an example where, as you saw, he was getting peppered with pepper balls. And, and I counted, and I, I, I'm, sh I'm sure I'm off plus or minus a couple shots, but it was 20, 22, 23, somewhere between 20 and 25 shots that this guy ends up taking. And I showed you just a couple there at the beginning. So let's watch the video. And, and just see how well someone can take these body shots. Now, he was just standing there. Now, the background on this story is it was a 70-some-year-old man who was actually caught trying to break into an apartment complex. The police came. The guy had a gun. Um, and so they decided to use pepper balls on him initially, and, um, you know, even though he was armed. And... Um, and so they're, they're just hitting him with body shots. And, uh, you know, unlike some of the other videos, he didn't charge. He didn't uh, escalate. Uh, he reacted in a, in, a, in a different way. And it just goes to show that every situation is a little bit different in terms of the response. You never know what you're going to get. And, and so let's see how he responded. And then let's talk about uh, what kind of take-home message we have here. Where is it at? All right. So they've, they've approached the apartment complex now. Uh, going from their truck, uh, getting getting their weapons out, walking now down through the parking lot to get to this guy. Where's the car? It's a fairly well lit area, but the the officers uh, have their own lights on their weapons. But uh, someone must have spotted this guy. Hands up! Hands up! And the police the police came and, and they've 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 got Walk him. And he, he doesn't run. Step he, out he to the middle of the parking there. lot, like he said. It's a very right, on the ground. On the ground. On the ground. Now. Now. Go. Go. Don't. All right. So you, you, now they're firing. You can see, I think this is uh, showing his, his, his weapon there. So they're very well aware of that. Drop it. Drop it. More shots. Just continuing to fire. Drop it. Drop it. Now. But he doesn't, Drop the he doesn't gun. move. Uh, he's, he's pretty much, I don't know if he's Drop frozen the gun. from the, the effects of the shots. Doesn't know what to do. You got him? Watch it. Drop it! Drop it! That's it. So here it starts to escalate now. Drop it! No! 224 India 998. Don't move! Okay, so uh, he, he, he actually was able to take a lot of shots with these pepper balls. Now, these things we know are delivered with a typical pepper ball launcher uh, at gonna be typically less than 20 joules. So we didn't expect any of those shots were gonna uh, give him so much pain that he was gonna have pain compliance from the kinetic impact. And you can see he was taking them and he was a 70 some year old man. Uh, and you could see the cloud, the cloud was accumulated all over him and all around. And they, they really, uh, there's no way that he would not have gotten exposed to the, the pepper powder in his eyes, in, in his face. And um, and so there's obviously because he's far away and there's not a lot of resolution to be able to see, it's it's really hard to tell what, what if any kind of response he was having. Um, but it did not cause him to move out of that space. If he was really being affected, he would have either dropped to the ground in pain or he would have ran toward the officers or ran away from the officers or tried to get away from that cloud. But he he stood there in the cloud and, breath and obviously breathing it in. And, um, but ultimately he took his firearm and, and the, the police reports, and I think this is out of Phoenix, uh, he fired it into the air once. And I think that that's what caused the officers to fire on him at that point. I would say they're very patient. If he has a firearm and I, I, I think patience is, is the way to go. Uh, but, you know, he could have easily fired on the officers and that creates a very dangerous scenario as well. But uh, I think they maybe were hoping that because they were peppering him with pepper balls that he was going to be somewhat impaired. Maybe he would not be able to shoot accurately. And, and, and po quite possibly that's what happened. He, he fired, maybe he fired indiscriminately in the air. I, it's really impossible to tell um, from this video. But I think this goes to show num the number of pepper balls that you can put on a person and they still may not comply 
until they have decided in their mind that they're ready to comply. If he was, if he wanted a gunfight, he, he could have gotten a gunfight. If he wanted to run, he could have ran. Uh, the pepper balls did not incapacitate him in any way. I'm, I'm impressed with the number. I usually see one or two pepper balls and then something happens. Either, either there's, a, there's a gunshot. The, it was patience on both sides. The guy was being shot and he was incredibly patient. He knew he was going to keep getting shot with pepper balls. I don't know anyone that would do that very long because it is not something that you want to experience. It's going to be painful. It's going to burn. Uh, but maybe he was one of those few that, that felt absolutely no effects. Maybe he was on drugs. Maybe there were some other issues. So it, it just uh, is, it provides another learning lesson and another example of the use of less lethal force with a pepper ball launcher on a person. And the person didn't really uh, communicate. There wasn't a lot of indicators to let you know his state of mind. Uh, so that's not something that we're going to learn from this type of video. But, uh, you know, at nighttime, the officers did exactly what they needed to do. They illuminated him, uh, got the light on him. You had, it, because it was dark, I looked very closely. It looked like a black rifled format, uh, maybe one of the Tipman type uh, pepper ball launchers that he was using. And, uh, but there really is no other detail. Uh, when you look on the police reports, they say less lethal tool. Uh, but I think we can tell from the powder that this was pepper ball. We'll go with that. Yeah, I, I just try to share these. I, I hope that they are enlightening. This one is more just an example of, of the sheer volume of pepper balls that, that a person might be able to handle. And, and we typically often think, well, five it should be more than enough from my Berna or my TCP or my other launcher. Uh, I don't really need a hopper full. Well, in this case, the police were using essentially a hopper full and, and the person was, was still um, a threat. And so always keep that in mind that the threat uh, may have to decide that they're no longer willing to be a threat or that they are going to escalate their threat. It's really up to, up to them. It's not your decision whether this person gives up or not and whether they comply. It's their decision. And so you have to be prepared for worst case scenario what if they charge you? What if they have a knife? What if they have a gun and, um, and have a contingency plan? In this case, the officers did have a contingency plan. Once, once he became a more serious threat, there was gunfire, and I think the situation was resolved, unfortunately, again, through um, someone being shot. Um, but another example, I hope that helps to you know, give, a, give a better feel for what you might expect from a large volume of pepper balls, one of the few videos that I've ever seen where a person literally just takes them onto the body. It looked like they were in two shot bursts, so the launcher that was used was probably uh, one of those newer versions of the pepper ball launchers that do have the two shot burst capability, police only. I don't think civilians ever had that opportunity to buy those. And, and those launchers came on the market about two years ago there must have been an excess of them, but then they went off the market and now I, I, I don't see them anymore for civilians, but uh, they, they seem like a great uh, launcher option. So everybody take care. Uh, I, as always, I want to share these, 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 um, these real life, real situations with you so you can decide, is a pepper ball good enough or do I want to switch to kinetic, go for heavier weight, go for more punch, and more jewels, or, or am I all chemical, and that's what I really want to use, or do I want to find some happy medium and mix of both? It's really up to you. I, I'm going to share these and, and let you decide, and I just welcome your questions and comments, and I, I really appreciate all the input from everyone. Um, if you really appreciate what, what I'm providing in this video, give it a like, subscribe, so you can get the latest videos when they come out, and um, everybody take care. Until the next one, see you later.